Welcome to OreoOlive.com. This is the Oreo Olive Stone Mix with the abstract thought of putting those two words together. It's like this great channel to discuss various topics. In today's episode, I want to talk to you about these high gas prices, you all. These gas prices that are between $4 and $7 a gallon uh, for gas. And something that I'm noticing that I, I'm starting to see now, especially within my community itself, one thing that I'm seeing a lot of in my community is the influx of kids riding around on either ATVs or now mopeds, which I haven't seen them around since the early 90s, since people have been riding them around. But people are now getting more into mopeds and most definitely into motorcycles. And it makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Um, oftentimes you can get a moped or motorcycle for less than $10,000. And it doesn't take that much to fill up with gas and you can pretty much ride, at least in our area, within the tri-state area of Arkansas, Tennessee, and Mississippi. Why not? Why not spend the money on something that's going to cost less in gas? Now, when you're traveling, I was talking to a neighbor this past weekend, and he was telling me that he was going to take a trip a couple of hundred miles away, and he was going to go in his RV. He had a very, very long, uh, nice RV. I believe it was 70 feet long. And I asked him, you know, how much gas does it take to fill it up? And he told me it takes about uh, $400 to fill up the tank. And he said he may have to end up spending seven due to the price of gas. And at first I was like, that's a whole lot to spend on gas. But what I realized after thinking about it, it's not that bad at all because when you take when you take the cost of traveling five hours away, you're gonna spend about a hundred dollars on gas going and coming back, well over a hundred dollars going and coming back, regardless anyway. So that's already a hundred dollars right there. Then you gotta take into consideration food. The price of food is going up, so you're gonna spend another 200 plus dollars on food alone just by itself then once you got we got to, to think about um your living or your accommodations so you're going to stay in a at least a decent hotel that's not nasty so you're looking at almost 400 dollars to stay in a decent hotel and that's one that's going to be nice uh, not something that's going to be too expensive like the Four Seasons or um, or any, you know, super expensive one. And so you're already right there approaching $500, right? So you've already spent more without an RV than taking an RV and checking in at a site ahead of time and seeing if they can make the accommodation for your stay. But the RV was extremely nice, you all. And I said, you know what? It makes better sense to spend money on gas and then in your RV. It had a refrigerator. It had a bed. It had like a living room set in there. It had a, a full refrigerator at that. It had a washer, a dryer. It had a shower in there as well. And it had a little side piece where you can sit out and enjoy the weather if the weather's nice. And so I'm talking about that because the way that people now are spending money less people are buying uh, trucks because it's unpredictable that this gas price was going to happen to them now indeed we got to have gas just to travel either way but people are either going smaller electric or they're really taking advantage of these rvs and it's really got me thinking like wow like uh when you're traveling with your family heck it's better to just go ahead and just get an RV or get an electric car, but then you got to worry about space and charging stations and things like that. What I think, what I think is, could probably happen is if too many people get electric cars, I really think that there's going to be some other major fee attached to that. Same thing with the solar. Other people would try to live more off the grid because the cost of everything is going up so much and people are not getting paid enough to actually you know, be able to, to, to live through these times like right now. So I just wanted to bring that up in today's conversation. And what I think about the gas prices, I think they're too high. 
and what people are doing. They're opting for motorcycles or two-wheeled vehicles, and they're driving more because I've seen more kids now under the age of 18 driving mopeds down the street uh, than they did a few years back driving, you know, golf carts or driving, um, like, ATVs, like themselves. Because ATVs, uh, I believe, use a little bit more gas than what the mopeds, you know, mix on because they're two-wheel versus four. But let me know you guys' thoughts on it. Like, listen, and subscribe. Or you're all at .com. Talk with you soon.